Today we're going to do a how-to about how to find the best seat on your next flight. There are a couple different free tools you can use to do this, but we will cover a popular resource called Seat Guru, which maintains seat maps across hundreds or maybe thousands of different configurations across many different airlines and many different aircraft. Hey everyone, my name is Ben and welcome back to Explore Informed, where we dig into the details of travel so that the next time you go exploring, you can go a little bit better informed. Before we jump over to a walkthrough of Seat Guru, I wanna make one quick announcement and then point out a few brief tips or things to keep in mind when selecting your seats. In terms of announcements, we have just launched a quick, simple website, which you can find at exploreinformed.com. Again, it's simply exploreinformed.com. We'll be posting some of our most popular video content and blog forms, so all of the useful details and information from these videos can be kind of archived and referenced more easily. And you can also contact us there via the contact form. Now, announcements aside, in terms of picking a great airplane seat for your next flight, I want to talk you through a few things you should keep in mind when doing so. First, not all aircraft in the same type have the same seat configuration. Airlines will often operate many different configurations of the same aircraft. They may differ in seat number, the balance between premium and economy seats, and may even feature entirely different seats from different seat vendors. For example, according to Seat Guru, United offers 10 different seat maps or seat layouts on the 737 aircraft alone due in part because they operate at least three different variants in the 737 family, the 737-700, the 800, and the 900. So keep that in mind. Not all aircraft, even if they look the same on the outside, have the same seat configuration. Second, not all seats in the same cabin are created equal, and some come with a fee. For example, in economy, also known as the main cabin, or also known as second class, you will find standard economy seats, preferred economy seats, economy plus, main cabin extra, delta comfort, and I could go on for quite a while. So depending on the type of fare you have purchased and your elite status or lack thereof, you may or may not have access to all seats inside a given cabin. And thirdly, sometimes the ability to select a seat may be restricted until check-in or even later, depending on the airline, your fare, and a couple other different factors. Further, if you are booking a code share or a ticket that includes several different carriers or airlines, your ability to reserve seats in advance may also be restricted. So now that we've got a few tips or kind of disclaimers out of the way, let's walk through Seat Guru itself. Okay, so here we are on SeatGuru.com. Again, that's SeatGuru.com. I'll provide a link down in the description. Kind of right off the bat, one thing that's worth noting, I guess, is that it's owned by TripAdvisor. Again, I've talked about TripAdvisor before. I really like them. I think they're really good resources for the traveler in general. But what you'll find kind of immediately is a couple options at the top for seat maps, airlines, some comparisons. But I think maybe the easiest thing to do, if you know what your flight is, you can just navigate directly to the plane or aircraft that is operating your flight. Seat Guru knows that based on kind of flight schedules and that kind of thing. I actually have a flight tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that information in. It's on American. It's being operated tomorrow on 916. The flight is 2420. I'm gonna hit find. And Seat Guru will give me a couple different options. This is my flight here going to Albuquerque. And bam, I get the actual seat map for my flight being operated tomorrow from DFW to Albuquerque on American. And then basically we're presented with a map, kind of have this, this airplane drawing here with all the different seats across all the different cabins. We have first class, we have main cabin extra, and we have economy. These colors are kind of the first thing that jump out at you. And one of the most important things to note, they'll indicate whether that seat is good or bad. Green means a good seat. Yellow means it's something you should be aware of and you should see the comments, which I'll show you how to view in just a minute. Red is bad, obviously, and then kind of green slash yellow is mixed. We'll have notes around standard seats, block seats, premium seats. Occasionally you'll see a crew seat, some indications for power ports. I'm not sure how reliable it is, but something to note. The arrows will show you where the exit rows are. Um, you'll see galley, lav, closet, and bassinet. I'm not sure if you know this, but there are flights that have bassinet seats where you can actually mount a bassinet if you're traveling with a small child. That's generally on big aircraft that are flying um, kind of transcontinental routes though. So if we look at the seat map specifically for this seat, we're gonna see yellow on the first row first class. If we mouse over, it'll generally tell us Okay, so I just learned something. Apparently the you cannot mouse over the color, the seats, when you're viewing in this mode um, that is provided by Seat Guru when you put in your flight info. For some reason, 
when you go through these steps, you can't mouse over. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip over. This is a 737. I believe it's layout one. And I'll show you kind of the same thing here instead. Again, if you mouse over, you can see why that seat is being flagged the color that it is. In this case, it's yellow saying this is a standard first class seat, but it's close to the bulkhead and that may be bothersome to some people. Bulkhead rows have no floor storage during takeoff taxi and landing. Same thing with main cabin extra, the first row is going to be yellow because it's right on the bulkhead. This seat is red, 10A. Let's see, because it's missing a window. So that's, a, that's kind of the cool thing about Seat Guru. That's something you ordinarily wouldn't know, but on this specific aircraft, this is specific seat map, seat 10A doesn't have a window. And then seat 11A and 11F are yellow because the window is misaligned. So maybe you have it, maybe it's kind of a, towards the rear of your seat or the front of your seat and makes it a little bit harder to look out of. Exit row is yellow as well. Generally, there is a little bit less recline on some of these seats. The seats are often skinnier. Sometimes the tray table's in the armrest, but you get more leg room, so it's kind of a trade-off. And the second row of the exit row is marked green because you get kind of the standard exit row benefits, but you have the normal seat recline. Um, a couple other neat neat things. You'll see photos uploaded by people, kind of just like you see on TripAdvisor, some photos of the American Airlines 737. You also have comments from people. Under seat storage is taken up by the power box. They were in seat 29F. You, know, you kind of get good comments and feedback. There's a fixed stub armrest on the window side that significantly reduces seat width. That's in seat 15A, which is the exit row, which is true. There is a fixed armrest sometimes on the exit rows on the outermost seat, just I think because of the proximity to the exit. So there's just some great comments here, and not always entirely accurate, but can be useful in doing a little bit of research. And then here at the top, you'll see the seating details, kind of some general information around the cabin, um, the seat pitch, was, which is the distance between the two seats, or the row in front of you, the seat width, and then kind of the number. So we have 34 to 40 inch seat pitch for main cabin extra. So probably 34 for the standard seats, 40 inches probably for the exit row. And then the main cabin extra pitch is 31. If I click back here on airlines, I get a kind of list of all the different airlines they have on seat carrier. So if I want to look at United, I can click on United and see all these different layouts. Wide body, narrow body. Let's look at the 737 MAX 9. Here we get United Airlines 737 configuration. A couple green seats in Economy Plus that are preferred. Again, the exit row gets a green, a green rating, and then similar to American, the back row gets red. And I think this, this is just as useful for long haul aircraft. If we look at like 787 1000s from United, we get the kind of the Polaris business class cabin here at the front. While this is a great product, there are a couple of seats flagged as yellow. In this case, looks like there's a misaligned window. Kind of row one and row 11 are closest to the bathrooms and the galley, so they're kind of flagged as less desirable. We'll see Premium Plus, which I think is their econo a premium economy product. We'll see Economy Plus, which is kind of a just economy with extra legroom, and then regular economy. See, here's another red seat. In this case, it's an exit row that's missing a window. There's a protrusion from the exit door, which limits your legroom, which is probably like a life raft or the slide that's built into the door of the plane. A couple of things worth noting. There's a comparison chart here, which I've never actually used, but it lists out airlines, kind of the aircraft, but it shows you the seat pitch again, which is a distance between two rows, the width, whether they have video, power, Wi-Fi. So kind of a good way to do a quick scan across different airlines and see who has the best seats. So Air Asia has 29 inch seat pitch, which is tiny. And then you have Air Transat, which is 32 to 33 inches. So three to four inches in an economy seat makes a huge difference. But it's worth noting the Air Asia seat is actually wider than the Air Transat seat. So maybe you want a wider seat with less legroom, you go with Air Asia. If you want more legroom and a skinnier seat, you go with Air Transit. But that, again, that's kind of the whole value of Seat Guru. Helps you kind of see what types of seats and configurations airlines are flying today. It helps you just make a more informed decision. But that is generally how Seat Guru works. Again, the easiest way to get to what you want to see is to enter your flight information or to click here on the airlines, then navigate to the specific airline you're flying, and then find the seat map and go from there. So that is it for this video. I hope you have found this information helpful and you're more likely to score a great seat on an upcoming flight. As usual, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Explore Informed. And again, our new website is exploreinformed.com. And please hit the subscribe button down over here if you want to catch more of our future content. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.